Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my guide on how to gem up a Dark Gatito. This is a question I've been getting a lot, so I decided to basically dedicate a whole video um, going over the theory behind building the Dark Gatito, his skill set, and why you want to build him a certain way for various purposes, and basically all the different types of build that you can, you can build him with. Now, there's only really two main main ways to build him one is to obviously build him full glass cannon and the other is to give him one defensive gem and i'm going to go over the the why you want would want to do that so um if you look over here this is my first dark Gatito from the previous event um i managed to put put him on a hundred percent crit rate but this is not the optimal build because it's good enough, but it wasn't optimal. Um, basically, I had to use this one because it had attack, crit rate, crit damage, you know, just a really good um, broken set gem. And this one was another one I had to use to kind of fill the slot. It had 14.5% crit rate, which basically pushed my crit rate up to 90%. And then this is just another random um, crit rate gem that happened to have a little bit of attack on it. I actually do have much, much better, um, you know, broken set crit rate gems that I can use, but I decided to not not take this gem out because I was, I guess I was lazy. I probably should have done done it last, uh, last event during the, like this one's definitely a better one. Or I think this is the only other one I, I can really use. But there, there's some decent ones that I, I think I have um, that might have like slightly higher attack, but he doesn't really need it because all I really use him for is Dragon's B10. And I needed to build him like this in order to kill the dragon at around 60% health. So, um, I guess if you don't know how I do Dragon Speed 10, you can definitely look at my Dragon Speed 10 guide video. I actually made it a few days ago, I think. Um, and you can definitely check that out if you want to sh know how to use your Dark Gatito for Dragon Speed 10. I can, there's, it's actually possible to use two Dark Gatitos for Dragon Speed 10 as well. So if you, if you happen to have one already and you, grab the second one for this event, you can actually build your sec both your Dark Katitos for, for Dragon's B10. Um, the other thing is, I think I think there's another, the other main way to gem up your Dark Katito is with one slot um, defensive, and that is mostly for for farming and stuff, because you, especially on auto, because you don't want your Dark Katito to die. So, um, if you if you build your Dark Katito with full, full attack, like Mine is with um, attack, crit damage, crit rate. It, this is al also not optimal because um, dark monsters already have a base of 100% crit rate. And now this is just a general rule of thumb. It's not um, it's not absolute because obviously all monsters have a different amount of um, attack and crit damage. And certain monsters with higher base attack skill skill better with attack. For example, just like you know, like fire Siegfried or something like that. Um, than, than having one slot crit damage. Like, monsters with higher base attack, if you give them more attack percentage, they actually get more attack out of it because of their original base attack. It, it multiplies, basically. So, um, but as a general rule of thumb for most attackers around, around like, 3k, or, or 3.2 is already pretty good for a 4-star, but around, like, 3k attack, um, if you want the optimal amount, like, the most amount of damage, then gemming your monster with an even amount of bonus attack and bonus crit damage is ideal. So what you would want to do is like, for example, if it's a dark monster with a base of 100% crit damage, what you would want to do is you would want to put maybe two attack gems on it and then try to push like, you know, 30-ish percent crit damage from your substats. And then that would get you the highest amount of damage when you crit. Um, and now this is only this is only for the case where you have like near 100% crit or or exactly or over 100% crit um, because if you don't have any sort of crit rate your crit damage is basically useless if you don't crit there's no point in having crit damage and that's why the having a square slot on your Gatito is very very important because you obviously if you want him to be reliable you want him to always be critting um, if you're mainly just using him for for damage dealing purposes for just random DPS I'm not sure for what maybe for Titans or something like that um, then there's another way to gem him up, like to get him even higher attack, but you will also require really, really good gems. So you can actually gem him up with something like, um, you know, like three slot attack or two slot attack, one one slot crit damage, and you basically push your crit rate up through substats. Um, 
you can actually go with uh, three slot, three slot attack, and then like um, on on a ruin set or something like that, and that can actually give you like the actual most amount of damage possible um, DPS wise for your dark, dark Cathedral. Theoretically, if you had like thirty percent crit rate substats on all three of your gems, which is like near impossible to pull off, but you know it it can happen. You can. Uh, Maybe if you push your crit rate up to over about 80, 70 to 80 percent, um, it would already yield higher amount of DPS than if you were to gem him up with one slot crit rate. But that also requires really, really good gems, and he also won't be reliable for a lot of other things because um, if you don't have 100 percent crit, you're not going to be able to rely on him for dragons because dragons is like all about um, all about consistency. The the more consistency that you have. Or the more bases that you cover, the the less revives that you have to do, and it's kind of the same thing for PVP as well. If you're building a full glass cannon dark Gatito for PVP, you do want him to have um, like 100% crit rate. You want him to crit on that first attack every single turn, because every single time that um, he doesn't crit on the first turn, it basically puts your team at risk and makes things like you know based on RNG, like maybe they have a really threatening monster like a um, like a light Thor or something like that, and you, you're using like two Dark Gatitos and you want to kill him on the first turn. I don't even know if two Dark Gatitos. I think two Dark Gatitos built built really well. Um, can definitely can definitely one shot a Light Thor um, on first turn. But if you if you don't if they don't crit, then it basically leaves the Light Thor alive, and then he can next turn like stun you or I mean shock you or something like that. So um, that definitely introduces some form of risk. So you definitely want to have like for mo more most cases you do want to have a hundred percent crit rate on a monster that is so reliant on crit damage. Um, one because of his crit base crit damage from being dark, and and two because he has the hunter skill. Now um, the other way to build the dark Atito is obviously to build him with just one slot defensive, either defense or HP. Now. Um, for attack monsters, for example, attack monsters that you are forced to build this way, maybe for farming golems or something like that, it's more ideal for you to build one slot HP than one slot defense if you have a proper healer. Like for example, you had you have a strong healer that can um, you know sustain your team really well, like a water Persephone or something like that. Um, I think in in the, those cases maybe. Maybe in a flat heal case, it's better with uh, one slot defense. But what I'm trying to say is. Um, in the case that, for example, there's no healer at all, there's no healing on your team, um, your your damage dealer would survive longer with one slot HP than one slot defense. Basically, one slot HP in most cases, depending on the monster, obviously, um, but most monsters, attack monsters, have a pretty even amount of defense and HP. Like if you divide this by by ten, and then you you um, compare the two, it's pretty much um, pretty similar. So it doesn't really he doesn't really scale better with either. And in this case, where the two are even, um, your damage dealer would, would have more effective HP if you put an HP gem on him rather than a, than a defense gem. Now, the other thing you have to um, take into account is healing, obviously. Um, if you have like a really strong Water Persephone, like an Evil 3 Water Persephone on Gem of Life, like just healing like mad, <laughs> then... Um, it still wouldn't matter because you could just use the HP and your your water Persephone in the most cases would be able to sustain your Dark Gatito no problem. And it basically um, provides a thicker cushion for whatever dam in incoming damage you can take because the HP gem gives higher effective HP. Now obviously if you ha you're having sustaining problems um, for your Gatito and you're, you're planning on using a monster that can, you know, just like maybe you're using a a uh, shield based monster like your light venus or um or something like this but like most people have light venus um then it's it might be better for you to go one, with one slot defense because the defense um plus the shield yields higher amount of effect effective hp than if you use the hp gem so um i think in most for most people unless they have like a really really strong healer um strong healers are like are like uh Healers with like high base recovery, like like Hana's, um, like Wood Hana or something, um, or or something that can like basically max heal you pretty much every single time, like um, Light Succubus. A lot of people have this as well from from last time, um, you know, or or um, 
I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the recovery stat, but basically any healer that has like a very, very strong heal that can basically heal your team um, almost all to full, then it wouldn't matter because you, you would actually be better, better off with the HP gen. Or if you're planning to not use any healers and just go full nuke, you're also better with an HP gen. But in the case where you, you're having sustained issues, it's actually better with a defense gen because lower amount of um, the HP pool, but higher amount of damage reduction actually makes your monsters much much easier to sustain and that's why it's it, it depends on what team you have but that's just the theory behind it so um, if you're gemming your your dark Atito with one slot defensive gem something like HP or defense um, then you're mostly using that monster for farming and the reason why you want a gem like this is to farm maybe giants b10 maybe um, or not giants golems b10 um, or um, maybe something that requires a, some, a little bit of sustain and also requires damage, maybe like B9. B8 doesn't really require it because of how squishy the boss is. B7, I think he can probably be, be fine with um, full glass cannon on B7. The B7 boss doesn't do too much damage either. But if you're using him for B10, for example, I think most people, I think that's what, um, if you're building him this way, are, are going to be using him for B10. Um, then you do want to put one slot defensive, either HP or defense. And in this case, you don't need to base. You d basically, you don't need to push 100% crit rate because you don't need him. His damage to be reliable. You just need him to provide a sustained amount of damage. So this way, you basically you try to get his. Obviously, you do. You do want to get his crit rate as high as possible, but you can also. Um, you can put, um, you, you know, if you don't have 100% crit rate, but you want to put him on a ruin set, you can actually do that. Then this way, basically, you get um, 60 something percent. Actually, no, it's probably better with a with a valor set. But then ruin gives 40 percent, so ruin's still better. But if you put him on either a ruin or valor set at this point, it's pretty much even because um, you know you're you're reaching that optimal point of when I said like you know one for one for the bonus amount of um, attack percentage to bonus amount of crit damage. You're going one for one as well. So, like in this case, um, you know, Valor actually reaches the the optimal point a little bit. Like it's closer to the optimal point um, more than Ruin, but Ruin gives forty percent extra, um, like twenty percent more stats because it gives forty percent crit damage rather than than twenty percent um, than than Valor. And but it only scales with if you have high crit rate. So depending on the substats of your gens. Um, it could be better to use Ruin, it could be better to use Valor. So, yeah, that's also it's also something to consider. Um, you can also put him on Intuition. It's still pretty good on Intuition because he, he's a Dark Monster. He has that base um, crit damage here. He also has the nice, um, you know, another 50% extra crit crit damage from this as well. So just, just by having high crit rate already ensures that he has really high DPS. Um, you know, that's pretty much a given. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's the theory behind gymming up your Dark Gatito. Um, kind of went, <laughs> kind of went a little bit long. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna gym up this new new Dark Gatito that I have. I recently six starred him. I'm in the process of leveling him. Got him with triple square. Fucking love that triple square. Um, and I'm gonna have to steal some gems from someone else. I, I do have a better crit damage gem, uh, or crit rate rate gem. I mean with 20% crit damage and 6% 6, 6 attack. A little bit of resist as well, so I'm definitely going to steal this one. I mean, I don't, I, I don't even use this this July. Like, I was going to use her, I, I would use her, but I think I need like a full light siphoning team for, for it to work. So I'm just going to put this on. This is going to be my crit damage gem, or crit rate gem, and it also provides a little bit of crit damage and a little bit of attack. That's really, really nice. Um, now, I also, I also want to gem this Skatito up, preferably full glass cannon. I could also try to gem him up with um, one slot HP as well. That would also be pretty nice. But I need to I need to check what gems I have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to up upgrade a lot of gems to try to push the crit rate of the attack gems as high as, as, high as humanly possible. I don't have too many. I think this one's my best one, so I'm I'm gonna go with this one first, and then I'll I'll go down the list. I'll go um, to worse and worse gems, and if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna like if all my gems go to shit. Oh god, 
Why do I have a bad feeling already? If all my gems go to shit, then... There's only really one thing I can do. I I pretty much just have to go back and farm B8 some more for some square gems. But it's not too hard, because B8 is definitely the easiest... Um, Oh, nice. 14.5 already. If I can get it to roll into crit rate one more time, I think I'm good. Like, I'll be I'll be able to push 100% um, on Ruin pretty easily if I can get this to roll into just crit rate once. One more time. I have two chances. 25% chance each. Oh, man. I'm so worried. Ooh, please, please, Tina, have mercy. Tina, please have mercy. Oh, God. I'm running out of gold as well. I, I have such a bad feeling. I need a pretty high roll as well, like maybe 21% if possible. 6.5 at least. If I can get 7, that would be nice. 7.5 would push me to 22%. That would be like the best roll. If it doesn't go to crit rate on this roll, I'm going to switch to another gem first and then and then I'll come back for this one. Ooh, went to crit damage. You know, this is still usable if it um, if it rolls into crit damage one more time as well. But I think I'm r running out of gold. I think I can only gem, gem, gem my Gatito up halfway in this video. Um, but what I'm planning to do is like I, I can use this gem as well. This one is already plus 3. It spawned a crit rate. Um, and then I have to roll it to plus 6. And then at the plus 9 and plus 12, I have two chances for it to go into crit rate. Now, for it to be... For it to be optimal I do need it to go into crit rate twice but I do have some other um, attack gems as well like this one also has crit rate um, and then I can also gem him up with like one slot HP or one slot defense that's also nice as well I was, I was actually pretty lucky to be able to get three slot um, three square because I want to be able to switch him switch him over like I can just switch take take that gem out and switch him each time in order to push his crit rate up so it would be more ideal if my my attack gem is the one with uh with twenty percent crit. All right, let's just let's just upgrade this gem all the way. We'll just add this as like a the 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 bonus portion of this video. Just upgrading my gem, gemming up my dark Atito, just halfway. I think I'm gonna have to spend all my gem to get or all my gold to get this to plus twelve. And even then, I probably <laughs> might not be able to. Ooh, I'm nervous now. I only have a 1 in 4 chance. You know, I, I only have... Um, I think I only have like 3 or 4 gems out of all the gems I have that roll into crit rate 3 times. Or, or twice, I mean. So it's like super hard. <laughs> For it to roll into the same slot like three times. But that's what I'm hoping for. And I, I managed to get all these gems in like um, a week or so during the succubus time. Like a, a week or so which is farming B8. So I can definitely, definitely get more and try again if this doesn't work out. And this Gatito is not something I need to like immediately have... Um, ready for anything so if it's not if it's not ideal I can still I can still use them but it would be really awesome if it oh my god it went to HP twice mm, at least it's not at least it didn't go into the recovery so that's not that's not too bad um, I, I don't have any goal to upgrade my gems so we're probably gonna have to stop here for today but yeah, that's. I think I answered the question of how to gem up your Dark Katito. Um, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to use him for, for B10, then you gem him up with one slot defensive and you you use like, you know, attack crit rate on the other two. 
And if you're like, if you have a strong sustain monster, maybe a water Persephone, um, and your water Persephone has really, really good gems, then you can put them on HP. Or if you have like a really good sustainer, like um, Light Succubus, or even like Light Snowy, Light Snowy can heal like an HP monster to full pretty easy. Or like a strong re or a monster with like high recovery, like your healer is is one that has high recovery, like the Hanas. Um, most Hanas have really, really high recovery. Um, I think certain Curas, most Curas have pretty low recovery actually. Cupids also have pretty low recovery, so it, it really depends. Or if your monster is like a shield based monster, it's probably better for, for you to use defense. Or if you have trouble sustaining, maybe you're using just, um, just a Dark July for sustain, it's probably better to use defense. Because your Dark July is going to have trouble sustaining your Dark Atito if he's on HP. Um, and if you're planning to use build-in full glass cannon, um, you just want to make sure to you know push his crit rate up to near 100%, as close to 100% or over if you can. Um, well, there's no point going over, but you want to push to 100% crit rate, and you want an even amount of bonus crit damage and attack. So basically, like if you add the base um, plus the amount of bonus. It should be equal to the amount of like bonus percent in attack. Then that gives you the highest um, optimal optimal um, amount of damage basically for your Gatito. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.